Hey everybody, welcome back. This is um, another video of the progress of the enclosure that I'm working on for the prehensile tailed skinks. Um, you can see the first coat of grout that I laid down. I like it, I'm gonna add more. Um, today I'm just working on a little bit of the hardscaping, which is just driftwood, rocks. You can see I've spray foam them all into place kind of to create um little rock piles it's mostly to hide some of that that's uh, holding the um the pond liner in and underneath all of the sharp rocks i've got um, some additional 20 ml uh, pond liner all these i dug up from my yard. I think this I found while herping somewhere. Uh, this piece right here I found on the beach. Yeah, but this is actually root from a large tree that used to once uh, live in my yard. It actually lived at a corner of my house, but uh, when I was excavating for the turf install, I found these roots. So I'm gonna use them in here rather than kind of check them out. So. You can see the green, and that's, a, uh, that's the styrofoam that I've carved, and just gonna slowly be adding layers of grout, and I also got um, concrete uh, tinting that I'll be using to uh, make these rocks match as, um, as much as this as possible. As you can see, some of, the, some of that rock actually has a bit of iron in it uh, right there. So, um, once this gets a little bit more dry, I'll be mushing them in to collapse them. And then we can do a bit of carving or whatever later. But yeah, this is a new method I uh, saw on Serpa Design. So I'm gonna have to start doing that from now on. It beats, you know, having to get in here with the carving tool getting that all carved up so I'm okay with that. Sweet. Alrighty. That'll eventually need some carbon I think but I might just fill that in with grout. Uh, cool. Just a little update video of the enclosure as it sits right now. Check back for more progress.